under these titles currently? They, they work under those titles. Um, you know, it, it's something that, uh, you know, at the time when we brought each of these individuals on board, um, I mean, the one person's been in that capacity for years. Um, he has a degree, you know, specializes in the business that she's in. Um, the other two were brought on board to, to run operations to be managers. And everybody in those facilities will now report to these three people. Correct. That's their operating unit, their operating division. And it's 24, 25, and 26, so we go on to 27. There's no more questions. Um, 27, 28, and 29 are all uh, through TIFA. Yeah. Uh, a lot of discussion on the one thing on 28 about you know, steel versus asphalt. Uh, just a lot of good discussion, all that needs to be done, so it was discussed in which way. Go ahead. <laughs> so all, all three of these you said are, are yeah, you know, just Would you, uh, would you touch on what, uh, is, they approved some LED lighting? They don't, I don't think they approved this. So, um, uh, I don't know, a month ago or so, TIFA approved a small package of LED lighting upgrades that was going to take place on Telegraph near Pennsylvania. Uh, or maybe was it on Pennsylvania? In that, in that general area. Um, it was a very small um, package that had a return on investment calculation of about a year and a half, which is really nice. And we were going to do a much bigger package later this year, which was, I think, 428 locations. Didn't Basically all of Telegram. All of Telegram. It didn't, no. Oh, okay. we, we paralyzed it after some discussion with our neighboring communities. Uh, we found out that DTE has petitioned the Public Exchange Commission for increased rates on LED supply technology. So what they're trying to do is essentially lure you in with these very, very attractive oh, wow. ROIs, and then they have you locked in. Warren, there's a recent article, the city of Warren, they were going to do the entire city. They've stopped. They, they're not doing anything anymore right now until this gets, until this gets resolved. The MML has now intervened in um, the Mich Michigan Municipal League, and they're fighting on um, local government's behalf right now in Lansing, asking these rates not be approved. Now, if they, if they get shot down, we will obviously take this back forward. If they do get shot down, we'll have to recalculate what that looks like to see if it makes sense. So, so basically, DTE is going, hey, do this, do this, we'll help you. And then they're reaching, trying to reach in the back pocket. And they right. don't want that. Yeah. People are going to that because it's cheaper, and they want to raise the rates well, it, so it, they can make more. It's cheaper. It's more efficient. It's brighter. It's and so it, it's all the right thing. They're the ones promoting it, but in the in right. coming in the back door, going yeah. Hey, give me a lawn. Southgate has paralyzed their LED program. Brownstown has paralyzed their LED program. Taylor's paralyzing their LED program, and we're all kind of waiting on deck to see what happens. We, we hope that, you know, that, that the uh, commission shuts it down, but that there's still no an real answer right now. Well, we're talking about lights. Why are down telegraph a lot of the light poles look like they're falling over? Yeah, those are all over. Those are, I mean, they're down. Those they're not falling those, down. You're talking about the decorative ones, right? Yeah. Those, yeah. those are those are made to collapse, though, right? If yeah. they are there, fixed, there's so uh, there's a, a, an extensive list going to TIFA for approval next. I think next or the first meeting in the new budget year. I think because it's it's in the next budget of July one. It's about one hundred and eighty thousand dollars worth of parts to replace a lot of those. What happened to them? Probably accidents, cars hit them, or they're, they're like yeah, they're just not like, falling down. They're yeah. It seems bad. like there's more and more. And, and we have the, you know, there's the Cadillac of, of product, and then there's the Bentley of products. We have the Bentley of products. We have the most expensive light fixtures you can possibly purchase. So replacing them is very, very expensive. So we don't carry spare parts generally. And the problem is we haven't replaced any of them. Five years. Right. Yeah. Mr. Gilbert, Madam Chair, I just was looking at these motions that are even received and filed for the TIFA mm -hmm. items. You mm -hmm. could probably do a consent agenda, too, if you want to do that. Yeah, I was great. Yeah, I was going to do that. What's your hope? Madam Chair, I'll suggest I'm not going to do that. I'm just joking. Madam Chair, I'm going to ask you to do this. Do you have a touch on this quick, just for a second. I don't know if Charlie covered it or not, but TIFA, TIFA had inquired why we were doing what we did in this motion. Um, 
as you know, Fiore Enterprises is doing, they're, they're the award-winning contractor that's doing most of the work in the city right now. Mm -hmm. They came in second. They were not lowest. We have no reason to believe that Century Cement cannot handle the job. They're a very reputable um, contractor as well. We added them as a secondary consideration in the event Century cannot meet the deadlines. So what we can't have okay. is, is the parking lot ripped up in the heart of the season. So mm -hmm. it's a small difference. It's not a huge number. But but we didn't want to we didn't want to so, just just in case yeah it's just just to have a backup. Okay. So Century is uh, the backup. Yeah. Century is the primary. Okay. And then if, if they can't meet the deadlines, then Fiore will, will move forward. What's the deadline? Well, Jeff Fast. will work with them. Yeah. <laughs> to, 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 there's a lot of outings coming up, so yeah. got, I don't know if you've made contact with them. Or Madam Chair, we have a meeting on Wednesday, a walkthrough, and to get a schedule together. Looking at our golf outings, banquets, weddings, graduation parties, so we will definitely work around those schedules. Item number thirty is cleaning um, requests. Ain't terrible gaming licenses. Before he leaves, it's Chuck's birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you. What's that? What was that a number? A number? Yeah, that's right. We'll write it on a piece of paper later. Yeah, okay, thank you. 56? Yeah, any questions on that? I think this is something that comes up every year. I'm sorry. Oh, the birthday? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, no, I think this is different. Oh, this is that um, hit a thon or something, isn't it? Well, it's, they're, they're asking for a parent's auxiliary to be recognized as a nonprofit. Usually what you do is you have a board of directors, and then you create a either a, a parent's auxiliary, a lady's auxiliary, or something like that to create another funding source for the organization. And in that way, like if one organization is limited to a certain amount of fundraisers, the other one can have that. So, I mean, I don't know if that's what they're using that money for, this Italian, but it says parent's auxiliary it here. Yeah, it doesn't really, so they're just asking to be recognized. Right? Yeah. So it's not like they're really asking for a yeah, just specific a event like, yeah. So it could be poker. I don't think be. Central has a, a, a separate uh, uh, auxiliary. auxiliary. Yeah, they just have their okay. board of directors. So most of your little leagues have one or two, maybe even three. Okay. okay. So it's just another funding uh, source. Okay. Yeah. 31 is an emergency repair. I, well, I don't know if it's an emergency or not, but it's a repair on one of the um, fire trucks. Okay, so this is a repair that has not happened yet. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. If, if I could, uh, I think that maybe proactively we should amend this item to increase the amount. If it's a pump repair, so it's a pump configuration with the corrosion and electrolysis that's occurring often when try to fix something, the thing that it's connected to can also break. So this, this is a hard line quote for parts when they were listed. Um, but once we begin the process, really we need to start and then finish so I don't, uh, so, I hope that we get through it at this cost. But if, well, do you want to amend it now or do you want to wait till it's done? It or we can amend it after the formal cost. Whatever you feel is most appropriate. But I would like to go ahead and Authorize it and tell them that right. it's, it's kind of, yeah. I'm not going to give them the information that there's a you know, you know, some wiggle room in there. Right. You know, for the lowest cost. But once it starts, I need to be able to say finish. The, the truck will be essentially out of service. What's the requested amount, Mr. 30, uh, 3500 basically. Do an NTE you know, five grand or that's what I was going to just change the NTE to five grand and then okay. How much do you think? You don't have to tell them that. Yeah. Well, that's cheap. Well, that's uh, actually, I know it's hard. We, we know it's going to be thirty-five hundred for sure, right? But it would be dependent mm -hmm. upon what else yeah. breaks in the process. Five thousand would be a number that I would be comfortable telling you that. Okay, that should be good. You know, really, if we start going to five thousand dollars, you know, it's indicative of the whole um, fleet's condition. Try to get out as cheap as possible. Okay. Um, we have two more items that came at the last minute, but before we go on, I skipped 5A. Um, at the last meeting, we 
approved the ROTC scholarship. So tomorrow they're going to make the presentation. Oh, I'm going to make that receiver.